up on Wednesday. Ladies in pools B and C, fellas in A and D. We're on the court. Harry Art is at the 3X3 logo. And it's on day three here. As Team France quickly feeds it on the inside, Nayo kicks it back out. And Harry Art, money in the bank. And it's 2 nothing. Team Spain, here's Sandra on the drive. Misses the shot. Harry Art steps on the line. So it's going to be out of bounds to Team Spain. They move it around. Here's Jimeno. Jimeno led the way with 12 points through their first round of pool play. And she's going to get the first point for Team Spain to start the day. Now she's got to check up Polly. The athletic Polly. Oh, Harry R gave her that cross, didn't she? Couldn't, uh, couldn't finish it, though. Foul on the play on Menendez. Harry Alt is going to check out as uh, Team France decides to go bigger and use that size from Sandra Dijon. And Dijon quickly over to Polly. Polly getting it to Nayo. Dijon's on the ground, so Nayo has to fire up the two. She misses. And Spain rebounds. Eight on the shot clock. Igera Vide. With, uh, with the moves there. Nothing doing on the possession. As Herio will take it out. At the top, France with a one point advantage. Herio letting one go again. And unable to get that one to go. Shout out to our sponsors, our global sponsor, Wilson. You get a good look at them all day long because that's the name plastered on our specially made 3x3 basketballs. By the way, if you want to learn more about uh, our FIBA 3x3 basketballs, specially made for outdoor play, go to 3x3planet.com. Franz goes to Dijon down low, swings it out to Polly, who's uh, been struggling with her outside shot here in the tournament. She'll look to get it going as Dijon nearly gets the steal. And I believe that's going to go off of Spain. Going to be France ball. Another look. Close call, but yep, refs make the right decision. Nayo battling for the rock. Spins in the paint. Oh, Nayo smooth like Mayo. It's really Mayo, but that wouldn't have rhymed, would it? Nope. 3-1. Check that, 3-2. Jimeno with the score on the inside. And then she takes the cookies. Baseline J from Monty is missed. Nayo with the board. She's going to clear it. Those are the rules. So this is team Nice drive by Menendez, but loses the grip on it at the last moment, and she was shooting it. So it's going to be Team France ball as Sandra Dijon checks out. Both teams with their smaller lineups on the court right now as we've just passed uh, just over two minutes into the action here. One foul apiece. Appreciate you if you're uh, watching the live stream on YouTube right now. Again, uh, Spain's fourth appearance here at the event for France. Their fourth appearance as well. Team France, one of four teams out here that uh, has fielded both a men's and women's team. So still stands three to two. And the long two ball. And she hit that one from Spain. Sandra showing off the range there. Harry Ard can't connect. Harry Ard now tracks it down. Oh, 
cross. Kicks it out. Passes mm, stolen. Spain quickly, quickly clears it. Jimeno to Sandra. Polly, good D. Out of bounds. Going to be Spain ball with seven seconds on the shot clock. And under seven minutes to play in our opening game of day three. This is officially the midway mark. Day three of five. Tomorrow will be our last day of pool play. And the medal rounds once again will begin on Wednesday. Also, point of emphasis, something that, uh, that you should remember as we take a look at some of the highlights here. Every point matters. So a lot of times you'll see in five-on-five -five basketball, if a team is winning, they hold on to the ball and kind of run out the clock to secure the victory. But in case of a tiebreaker scenario, points comes into play as the third tiebreaker. So after head-to-head, -head, it goes to points. And after points, it goes to ranking. So if a team is tied, whoever scored more points would win that tiebreaker. So each game goes to 21, but occasionally you'll see a team have 20 and shoot a two-pointer and score 22. Speaking of two, Sandra Dijon with a chance to make this a two-point play. She takes the bump plus the foul, and we'll see if she can convert at the free throw line. So just to uh, give you that extra little bit of knowledge, the more points, the better. As Team France was able to accumulate 30 points through their first couple of pool games. And Dijon makes the free throw. And here's Sandra, takes the pick. She's driving to the cup, and she's got the scoop. Polly, spin. Oh, deed up, though. Foul call, though. And Polly will step up to the free throw line. I mentioned that Polly has struggled a little bit with her outside shot. Still second on the team in scoring, headed into the, to the day with eight points. She's so effective when she uh, makes her way to the, to the rim. Free throw is good. 6-5. Sandra. Ooh, scores right off, right over the smaller Herio. Polly loses control a little bit. And it's going to be Spain ball. She couldn't quite hold on to that. Monty. Doesn't get easier than that. As Harry Ard clears it, waits for a pick. Her pass is tipped, though. Might have telegraphed that. They knew she was trying to feed it down to uh, Dijon. She goes right back down to Dijon. Dijon fakes the pass. Goes right at Monty. Gets her own rebound. Oh, yeah, she's beasting down there, ain't she? She says, get big. So don't worry about the miss. Dijon has got you covered. Get it? Dijon covered like mustard? Whatever. All right. Seven apiece. Not for long. 9-7 now. Spain takes the lead. There's Polly. Still off the mark. Menendez held down low by Polly. Or, I'm oh, sure I thought, no foul called him to play. Turnover. Polly, wild layup attempt. Recovers it anyway. Nayo. Jumper soft like Terry Claw. One point game. Monty misses the crib. 
Don't ask me what crib means. <laughs> oh, the two shooter locked and loaded. Sandra knocks it down as Spain takes a three point advantage. Niall's going to check out. Harry Art is going to check in. And once again, this game is of the utmost importance for Team France. They fall to one and two. And would automatically see Spain lock down a spot in the medal rounds. And Team France would chances would dwindle as Switzerland holds the tiebreaker uh, over them. So keep up. It's going to be a lot to uh, keep up with throughout the day. And I'll do my very best to make sure that uh, you're abreast on everything that's happening. It's a one-man crew. That's how we do 3x3. Uh, nice defense underneath. From Harry Art, look at her fighting for it on the ground. Jump ball. That'll be awarded to the defense. Another look at the hustle. But uh, that possession is going to go to the D once again. Ladies, take a little bit of a timeout. Step off the mic for a quick second to get myself a squig of water before we get the action going again. Atmosphere is electric. Day three here, just getting started. And believe me, if you've been watching the live streams this week, it's like this all day. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. As Menendez just lost her bearings just a little bit. We're past the halfway mark in this one. It's three to two. Here we are. Oh, that J is sweet. Domeno with some strong moves. It's 11-10. Harry Ott. Oh, she might have ran out of gas on that one. Another look at, uh, look at Harry Ott holding the ground. Really uh, outmatched in terms of size there, but she hung in there. She's been playing some good D down low all game, really. So Jimeno will take it up top, Team Spain. About 3.45 on the clock here. And a must-win game for Team France. And Sandra drives and scores. Harry Ard now feeds it down to Dijon. Dijon out to Nayo. Nayo up fake, drive, pass to Jimeno. Misses the crib. Monty gets the board for Team Spain. Rocking the red ponytail, good look. Then gets a cookie stuck. Nayo miss. Dijon got her back. That, out to Harriot. And Sandra foul on the floor. Harriot, the exciting 20 year old. She's a not native. Playing on her home turf here. And she wants gold. And Nayo wants gold too. Her two-pointer was golden. 
as France evens it up at 12 apiece. Three minutes to play. Here we are, down to Dijon, out to Nayo, lets it go. And can't, uh, can't connect. Much to the dismay of the, uh, of the fans here in Nantes. Coming at you from the Parc des Chantiers. And that, uh, that layup, that whole play was, was belle. Am I saying that right? Beautiful? I hope so. You know what I meant. 13-13, 2.20 on the clock. Here they are. Nice feed down low to Dijon for the score. So it's a one-point advantage for Team France. Looking to improve to 2-1 and one and make us utilize that tiebreaker scenario. Sandra, her two is just off the front of the rim. Polly gets it, clears it. Over to Nayo. Nayo with the drive, the kick. Polly steps behind the two-point arc, and she's still long. But when you're a shooter, you got to have a short memory. Oh, give me them cookies. Polly down to Nayo. Shoulder fake, foul. And she's going to get a chance to shoot one at the stripe here. That's now five fouls on Team Spain. Two committed by Team France. About a buck 45 to play in this one. Worth another look. Swiper, no swiping. Nayo. Silky smooth from the stripe. And Polly takes a shot. Literally and figuratively. And a big two-pointer from Menendez. As, listen, Team Spain has not had the type of success that they've had by accident. This is a top-class 3x3 team, OK? And they're not going to lay down for anybody, not even the home team. 15 up, ball game on with 120 left in this one. Foul on the floor. <laughs> Menendez has it up top, guarded by Polly. Polly gets a hand in there, throws a shot up, but Menendez quick back to the rock, gives Spain a one point advantage. Polly, drive, swing. Herriot, oh, she lost Menendez like the car keys, but can't connect from two. Dijon called for the foul. Another look. Dijon. Too aggressive defensively. Whistle for the foul. We're under a minute now. 58 ticks to be exact on the clock. 16 to 15 lead for Team Spain, who's already 2-0 headed into the day. Looking to remain unbeaten. And Dijon with the steal, playing the passing lane like Dion. And Polly blows the crib. No. Whoa. 16-15 still. Here's Sandra. Nice feet on the inside. Mighty beautiful move, but she can't close the deal. Blue ball. Polly kicking herself after missing that, mat, that last layup. And you can say the same of Monty, who had a point blank look. So I guess uh, one deserved the other. Nile, cross, spin, turn around, hook, missed. That's off of Team Spain. So it's going to be blue ball. With a one-point game, 29 seconds left. Here they Hesitation. She's got a mismatch here, guarded by Menendez. Polly now 
Misses another layup. Polly feeling the pressure. And checks out. And you can see the frustration setting in with a wide open layup for Polly. And missed. Now with uh, 11 seconds left in this one, foul called underneath on Harry Ogg. And Sandra steps up to the stripe here. Igueravide could really give her team some help here with a made free throw. She misses, but Menendez tracks down the rebound. It's about seven seconds left. And Harriot chooses to foul smartly because Team Spain could have just ran the clock out. Holding on to that one point lead. That was Team France's seventh foul, so that puts them in a the penalty. Two free throws now for Team Spain. And Igueravide misses the first. We're seeing a lot of missed opportunities and clutch moments for both teams. So Team France will get a chance here to at least tie. With five seconds left, Nayo launches it up. Sandra gathers it and runs the clock out. Team Spain locks down a spot in the medal rounds as they improve to 3-0 with a two-point victory over the very now sad Team France. 17-15 the final. as Team Spain moves to 3-0 and on top of Pool B.